Tides speaker. She is the founder of Block Tides, an award-winning blockchain, crypto, DeFi, NFT, IoT, AI, and Metaverse PR firm, and a scholar graduate of Draper University for blockchain and entrepreneurship powered by Tezos. She is currently an advisor for many, many blockchain and tech companies, and now leading as the co-founder of a gamified and open internet culture metaverse called Place War. This afternoon, she will be discussing the future of gaming and tackle trends on blockchain, metaverse, and NFT 2022. So without further ado, let's give a warm round of applause to the CEO, founder, and commander of Block Tides and Place War, Ms. Myrtle Ramos. Hello, Carlos. What a great introduction. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, all good from our end, Ms. Myrtle. Okay, so if you can hear me, guys, please press hashtag DICT, especially for the other uh, those viewing on uh, on your Facebook Live. So this is very interesting. This is the first time that I'm going to uh, actually um, introduce you guys uh, the future of gaming, metaverse, blockchain, and NFT trends. Because you know, um, there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to the games on what's really happening the blockchain gaming out there and yeah let's get it on so you can see my screen right hello yep we can see your screen pop miss Marita. how about this uh is it moving yes yes uh -huh. all right so uh blockchain for gaming still streaming anonymous as we haven't been discussing the th uh the topic so widely um, you can just see influencers just posting about games, about the NFTs um, that they're actually vouching for. But at the same time, um, this is actually a responsibility for everyone because this involves the money of people. Okay, so till date, of course, the studies and research conducted in blockchain mainly focus on how it actually correlates in cryptocurrency. So I will determine uh, later, <clears throat> I will actually introduce you later what's happening, uh, what, where this actually, what's the difference between Web2 and Web3 gaming, why there's a lot of games already being published um, in CoinMarketCap. And pardon me with my voice, I've already been speaking with many events. So yeah, thank you so much. So, so blockchain technology and the future of video games. I, I know every one of you actually played a lot of games. Um, we already have like Farmville, especially my aunt, my mother is playing Candy Crush. We all love games, right? So it's all about actually escaping reality for me. I don't know if uh, it's the same for you, for you to be able to actually uh, stress all of your stress um will melt down once you actually play a game right so it's actually our escape in our daily lives out of our work in uh day to day right so of course this one i will tackle what is it so let's actually go back throw back do a throwback when it comes to blockchain for gaming so you can definitely go ahead and see all of the tech giants um building uh, especially well known in the space in the web too, like Tencent published PUBG. I don't know if it's PUBG or League of Legends, but yeah. So these are the tech giants well known in the web two space. So we understand that it's never been the place or the first place widely discussed by the tech giants. But if you're actually go through and study all about game tech, you'll understand what I mean. That's the reason why they're all uh, jumping now in Web3. They saw the gold mine already. And of course, um, I'll be tackling what's really in it for them. And of course, the players for us to definitely do that. So you can see um, blockchain for gaming. It says here, that you can see the investments flowing in inside uh, the game industry or the game fly industry. This is actually uh, from the app Raider. So the app Raider, if you're not familiar, you can check it out. All of the NFT games are there when it comes to the analytics for blockchain gaming, guys. Okay. So uh, what's in it? So presence as a state of mind, of course, as a phenomenon has looked at the nature of being. Of course, it's it's for us to actually question, is it for me to get away from our own reality 
for our own existence? Why are we doing this? Is it just for the money? And at the same time, is it all about the experience? Um, do we want to actually experience a different experience outside our reality? So, of course, um, realism versus escapism. This is actually the study of games. Uh, since this is actually um, the intermediate blockchain, of course, and track, I, I, I want to uh, emphasize why are we doing this, right? So, of course, video games um, has been assessed with the escapism. So, of course, they are ca categorized in two major reasons. You can see here that there's a lot of video games. Why are daughters and sons actually playing Roblox, uh, buying Robux? So, it's already metaverse, guys. So, it's already, it's not, they're not using still Web3, but you'll never know one day you're, they're using blockchain technology already. So, of course, blockchain technology behind a lot of blockchains when it comes to ethereum uh bsc or binance smart chain um these are associated with uh with a lot of things at the same time um value and scarcity so we need to emphasize currency has existed within centuries right so at the same time it's being traded already bartered just imagine golds being bartered bartered before uh way back a thousand years ago so the bartering system evolved into currency we all have this peso now we all have this japan yen us dollar of course rather than bartering of course uh, money provides mechanism so this is the thought here so I'm it's really happening historically because it's all connected in the present moment that we have so of course um when it comes to this uh the this is the web 2 gaming ecosystem so let me check if you can still you can still see my screen right web 2 gaming ecosystem is that right yep yep okay so web 2 gaming ecosystem this is the way back before blockchain so you can see here game developers game publishers software developers esports gaming arenas up until the distributor uh distributors and retailers but in the web3 gaming there's a lot so there's a lot of opportunities already when it comes to uh web3 gaming up until here in the streaming services dao what is dao so this is actually a decentralized autonomous organization so what is it so wag muna tayong dumugo ang ilong guys so this um the basic analogy for dao so we all we all know the we all know the um voting system that we have it's all centralized right but here when it comes to game economies you can understand you have you you actually fully have the rights in the ecosystem itself for example in our game place war you have our place token you have the right to actually say anything uh, when it comes to the voting that's happening inside our ecosystem or our economy. Uh, basically, it's it's having your um, say when it comes to everything. Instead of being centralized, not knowing the truth behind all of the votes, of course, this is the best for us to actually um, make an analogy with. So, you can see here in the Web3 gaming ecosystem, Every game has its own marketplace already. And other games also are dependent when it comes to the marketplaces outside, like Binance NFT marketplace and other marketplaces such as OpenSea. So these are the best explanations for that. And fans economy. So this can be integrated already. For example, you have a favorite esports team and they can actually uh, be onboarded already with this platform or influencer platform that can be integrated with this game already it's all possible it's uh it's actually inter interoperability that's the word so you can just search it so aggregators what are our aggregators guys so aggregators are basically the platforms wherein uh, the game is not yet launched and they will actually launch it so all of the influencers will be there. Um, there's investments opportunity. I'm not a financial advisor, by the way. But in aggregators, you can definitely go ahead uh, and get allocations 
when it comes to um to the tokens that they have so this is an this is not a financial advice so don't uh don't take this upon me guys okay so sdk game plugins what are uh, what are plugins so basically this one are the plugins that you can integrate in such games and at the same time launch pads so launch pads there's a lot of launch pads already not just for cryptocurrencies but also for nfts for the game assets the in-game assets and of course wallets what are what are the types of wallets so i'll name a few it's trust wallet and metamask so you can definitely go ahead and integrate the apps already inside a game pfp so it's profile picture guys if you're all familiar with avatars uh inside the game it's uh there's a lot of um companies out there already providing avatars with great utility when it comes to blockchain gaming at the same time DeFi, decentralized finance you can go ahead and stake and earn passive income again this is not a financial advice but it's best for me to actually um uh introduce you guys to this uh, reality what's happening in this space so you can see the dao uh the landscape thanks to the source that i got uh, from google so basically these are the companies not complete but of course there's hundreds of companies already being built in the blockchain ecosystem so what are the type of games free to play so if you'll notice the ones that we're promoting in block tides spider tanks you don't need to pay anything for you to be able to play spider tanks so basically all you have to do is log in using your email address and password and you can definitely play and earn again it's up to you if you want to upgrade you can purchase nfts the second one is play to earn which requires for you an initial investment and at the same time cloud gaming so blockchain gaming ecosystem i know this one is basically removing all of the middlemen instead of uh the cash flow going to the publishers it's being distributed to the players okay so the frameworks on creating a game so I'm not going to teach you how to be a developer. I'll be, I'll be skipping this. So how blockchain can improve the gaming industry, there's a lot. So you can see basically here that blockchain gaming can definitely help when it comes to the in-game items that we have. So if you're a gamer, you'll understand in-game items. If you have a daughter and son, you can understand also uh, your uh, salary will flow <laughs> or will go to the robux your daughter will ask you to purchase it for them so that's in-game items and at the same time uh this can definitely go ahead and secure the game assets for security but there's a big question why is it being hacked why the, why there's actually a recent news about the hacks basically guys it's it's all about the blockchain that you're going to trust so make sure uh it's still unknown of course it's still up to you which blockchain you're gonna trust basically because you know again this is a, not a financial advice it's still up to your own due diligence when it comes to uh participating or supporting projects and companies in the web3 so of course character uh the characteristics of gaming industry so yes you need money to play popular games well some of these games allow players to accumulate digital gold so way back i'm i'm actually playing league of legends i'm just buying skins and at the same time it's just going to be there uh you cannot actually pull it out unlike in the web 3 the best example once you actually have that asset you can definitely go ahead and sell that to other marketplaces instead of just one platform okay so players may play many games and there's a lot of games out there who still in an experimental stage so please be careful okay and especially the similar concepts that they're just they just actually this is actually the reality in all of the projects once you actually saw someone building uh this game for example axie infinity all of them are actually building the same thing so uh also like in the old traditional businesses that we have some gypsal business they're all gonna do the same thing as well for example me i'm in the marketing they're all gonna be in the marketing industry and events industry already so basically be unique 
when it comes if you're a developer out there or an aspiring entrepreneur make sure you want to build something unique and out of the market you know it's use your creativity don't uh, just don't imitate anyone just because it's hype so build something unique build something that you want to do and you love it's all about ikigai here so of course uh here you can see here that gamers are becoming the new economies yes we we are a lot we have billions of gamers all around the world and at the same time you can definitely customize your digital assets when it comes to interoperability that i actually uh, am explaining earlier and at the same time the rise of community this is not about the game publishers anymore or the big tech company it's all about the players so it's not just happening in gaming so this is actually the way for us to have a mass adoption when it comes to blockchain technology blockchain technology is not just one way it's not just about gaming it's all about the utility that can actually help when it comes to the healthcare that we have when it comes to the digital currencies that we have the documents that we have and of course we are experiencing challenges regulations so regulations and understanding the impact of crypto is still a gray area here in the philippines we all know that and the impact on the world using carbon footprints and at the same time sustainability sustainability when it comes to tokenomics and of course at the same time the founders um uh journey when it comes to sustaining their company when it comes to managing people it's not easy and at the same time will the hype continue yes it will it, it, it will the reality and in investments there's a lot of investors really aping in to the gaming industry so what are the advantage you can see here all of the advantage that you can see when it comes to blockchain technology so we believe the type of gaming platforms will mostly be led by the community of course players can buy own and trade their digital collectibles inside the game so actually my investor told me the next axie will not be the will not be like axie anymore so this is the time to build in this space especially in what's happening in the market right now so of course this is the past and the present you can see the flow of everything when it comes to the cash and items the in-game items that i actually mentioned earlier and at the same time the games ecosystem but the present moment you can see that it's actually being built and the circulation is actually equal so you can see here that the flow of money and the flow of everything goes to the players and the community and at the same time it all boils down to the dividends to the revenue sharing and yeah that's what you are actually seeing behind the scenes when it comes to the games that you're playing so gaming is the tipping point for mass adoption so expert says i'm going to close it off of course the real first use case for blockchain is gaming which happened already last year because of axie infinity grateful that axie infinity actually opened a lot of doors for a lot of game developers players for them to actually um have the things that they deserve when it comes to building and creating something so of course expert says that this is just the beginning and at the same time how gaming navigates the remaining hurdles we're gonna keep on building of course at the same time come conclusion blockchain be belongs behind the scenes it's actually how the developers the founders the entrepreneurs out there gonna make a, a seamless platform that it's not actually seen that blockchain technology is being used already so you'll never know you'll you're actually using an app being built by blockchain technology and of course gaming is a proving ground for the future and blockchain gaming is just a learning tool for everyone not just for blockchain but for other up applications as well of course with blockchain by the way guys just a piece of advice real money is at stake but of course it's still wrapped inside a game the perfect uh the perfect place is to uh is actually for us to check blockchain's first mass adoption using gaming and i'll i'll actually close it here 
everything will be tokenized and connected by a blockchain one day by Fred Ursa. And at the same time, the best advice, I'm also a life coach, by the way. Life is a game. Just play it. Don't be serious. Make sure your story is worth telling. And at the same time, you only got one shot in this existence. Thank you so much, everyone. Wow, sobrang solid. What a discussion. Uh, thank you, Ms. Myrtle. And just by seeing all the reactions here in Zoom, I'm sure all of our participants learned a lot and enjoyed that, Commander Myrtle. Especially that GameFi and Play to Earn has taken the Philippines by storm. Diba? Wouldn't you guys agree? You know, daming heart and clap reacts. Maraming salamat po, Ms. Myrtle, for giving us an inside look in the world of GameFi and Play to Earn.